thousands of people for concerts. It's a really rare few that get to do exactly what they have always wanted to do since they were five years old. I think if you're passionate about something, you need to do that thing, whatever that thing is, because that's you. <laughs> if you if you feel that, then you can't deny it. You can't deny yourself that. Like, I wouldn't feel like myself if I wasn't dancing. As a kid, uh, and growing up, and you know, I dreamt about singing in a band, but I never really imagined that I would actually be able to do it. I am eight years old, and I love to play the piano. I was three years old when I started to play the piano. I started taking lessons when I was four years old. When I play the piano, I feel like I'm in my own dream. My heart is beating fast and makes me love it. The best part that I like about the piano is the keys and the notes, how they look. I love the sound. I love the sound. I did gymnastics for a really long time. That's a big foundation for um, a lot of things that I do. <laughs> my parents were all about it. My dad especially would drive me to competitions and stuff. Like, that's my girl. I kind of broke away from that because so there wasn't as much room for like creativity. And I started dancing in high school, my sophomore year. I feel like I sort of found a sense of identity through doing it. I knew that it would always be there for me. <laughs> I've always been obsessed with music. Music has just always been in my family. I've been singing since I was two years old. My parents plopped me up in front of the church. It's just a part of me. That's why I do it, because I love it. In my band, I would have a few of my friends. They would all play different instruments. We would have fun traveling everywhere. I also like to dance, tap dance, and hip hop. Someday I can tap dance and play the piano at the same time, and that would be really fun for me. <sighs> for me, one of the interesting things is that my parents never really pushed me, and I really feel like that's important. My parents don't um, push me that much. They let me practice when I want to practice. And I get a lot of help from my mom, and... She helps me sometimes with some songs that I still need to work on. Also, I get help from my teacher with the tempo. You have to practice more to get better. I would need like 10,000 hours to like get my music like really good or both my parents are really supportive. Yeah. Of my dancing and everything too. I don't count on making a living off of it. But um, I would love to be able to dance with a group or something that allowed me to travel. <laughs> I don't envy parents who want their child to, to excel in some musical instrument. And I know it's, it's really hard for, for a lot of parents. How far do you push? How hard do you push? But my parents, they allowed me to sing or do whatever I wanted in terms of music. And then when I was in college, and I was, you know, studying theatrical arts. They paid for college, they, you know, supported me in that way. But, you know, my dad being very Japanese and very pragmatic said, why don't you get your degree in business? Because you can sing, you can dance, you can do all of that stuff anytime. 
but now is the time to really focus on a degree and that'll ground you. And I, I did that. I got my degree in business and, you know, and I didn't really pursue music that much. I'm also a student and I work and like that would be enough for a lot of people probably, but I'll have rehearsal early in the morning or late at night and I'll have like work the next day or something and it doesn't, it doesn't like stop me, <laughs> you know, gotta dance. Sometimes it's hard to fit a passion in your life when you're growing up. At the time that Thomas sort of discovered me in a way, I wasn't doing anything musically at all. My friend and I, whenever we were, you know, we were driving around, I just sang not anything in particular, I would just sing out loud. And so we were at, at Thomas's house and he was playing records and a song ended and he said, now what should we do? And now what should I play? And my friend said, Timothy, you should sing. And he says, oh my God, you sing? Like, what do you sing? I just said, I'm, I don't, I'm not really a singer. I, don't, I just kind of sing to myself. And next night we were at his studio trying to pick out songs that I can sing with the band. And he had just started Pink Martini. And um, there I was on, on stage, you know. Some things you're in the right place at the right time for. I've had some pretty cool opportunities that um, happen just from like maybe somebody seeing me somewhere or, I don't know, you meet somebody who knows somebody. But I think for the most part, to be successful really depends on where you happen to be at a certain time. You can be the most talented violinist, the most gifted singer, and never be discovered and never get the right opportunity. I've had some challenges and I mean, we all face that. And uh, I think chasing a dream can be very challenging, you know? My dad's always told me this. It's you figure out who you are, not like when things are easy, but when you face a challenge. Like how, how you deal with things when it's hard, not when it's easy. You should not let it stop you and let it add to who you are with how you face that and how you overcome it and how you shove it in whoever's face if anybody's doubting you. So just go for it and just uh, follow your dreams. And if you feel passionately about something then, and it means something to you, then you, I feel like you have like a responsibility to yourself to keep working at it. Things that I love most in life, I get to do. And had I just pursued theater and music and dance, I probably wouldn't be doing what I'm doing on this level. In my dream, I love to play the piano and I hope everybody else has a great dream about something that they love to do. Always have it in your head that you're going to be successful, but open to the idea that it's not going to look exactly how you saw it when you were a little a kid. I think that's my best advice: is just that keep the goal, keep your head down, you know, shoulders squared, and go for it. But just realize that it may not look exactly how you envision it once you get there. Do it for you, don't do it for anybody else. I definitely think like, what's the point? of life if you're not gonna do what makes you happy. You have to follow your heart and your dream. You know, the most important thing to do is be yourself. Basically, yeah, go for it, do your thing. <laughs>
watching. Bye.